pawn. Not quite yet, though. The knight defending that square. But at the moment it oh. moves, you are leaning into C7. <laughs> no, oh, I, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I That's hung what you meant. a piece there. Yeah, but, you know, it's my rule as a commentator. You always have to be willing to be incorrect. Uh -huh. I blundered a piece. It happens. But, no, bishop C7 would be great except for the... Oh, no way! Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! Are you kidding me? I think I should apologize to Magnus. Am I, I is this a dream? Out of hand. It is. He's just allowing it. Oh Knight of four. He's Knight blundered Knight of four and it's mate. Yeah, Hikar sees it. He's like, Hikar can't believe it. Me? He looked at the this screen. Is, this is basic Brian, Robert. This is an idea that occurs across all openings. This is universal. And you can't step back to the first rank because of Rook C1 with mate. It's over. Yeah, no, Hikaru saw it, and look at him. He's like, are you serious? Am I really playing Magnus? This is all you got, he says to Magnus. He's going to be up four points, and Magnus has got a match on his hands, doesn't he? Oh, a match. I mean, he's going to have to work hard to stay in Rook this C1, match. Rook C1, Queen H3. Point. Oh, look mate. at that mate. Yeah. Oh, Done. It's over. Hack Hikaru not bags. Mm, he's, uh, he's amazing at this uh at this format uh i remember his match against fedosev two years ago his five plus uh one segment there i felt that that's pretty much as well as is possible to play um in that particular time control and i did feel today that he came sort of uh at least very close to to that level so you know hats off for for that i was um um not not fun to to face um at that particular segment but it was um it was amazing to see magnus it sounds like you love a good challenge and everybody remembers or has heard the stories of you and ikaru ikaru's bishop to b5 i don't really like the look of the move c7 to c6 i know you block the bishop and attack it but your bishop on b7 will look silly F3, F3, but now bishop C is knight a2 is coming. Yeah. yeah, I mean, all these knight a2s, the knight on a6 has to stay there because bishop c7 is otherwise always a very big threat if the knight moves from a6. But anyway, it's not going very far, actually. Yeah, uh, knight h. What? Oh, oh my god, Magnus blundered the bishop. Oh my god. Exactly at the moment when he was uh, starting to, to stabilize. He was doing and... so. So well, uh, such a blunder by Magnus Carlsen hanging a bishop. Well, oh. honestly, I, I when I first mentioned bishop c7, I also blundered it. Then I quickly corrected that while the knight on e6, you shouldn't be playing this. Oh my god, yeah. Because he he's lost. <gasps> His position but does lost. he have enough time? Oh my gosh, Magnus has to show off the mouse speed right now because this is a winning position for white. He is winning a second pawn just like Hikaru did in a previous game. Magnus cannot afford to waste a single second. This could be over if Hikaru can bleed another minute off the match clock. Here we go. One minute, 10 seconds. Every oh, look second at the counts. King h6. He's going to win. G5, rook f6. G5, rook f6. Rook f6. Rook f6. And king g7. G7, it's winning. Oh my god. No, but Hikaru, but... he has 15 more seconds. He needs yeah, to bleed. 15 seconds. King f8. Oh king f8. Gosh. Move, 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 move. If you're Magnus, Hikaru is going to make it happen. Isn't he? G5. Oh, G5. oh. Oh, oh, Rook F4. F4. Move. Oh my gosh, do the ladder. Queen. See it, Queen. No, he doesn't have enough oh, time. Hikaru made it. It's over. It's over. No, He's that's it. It's time. over. You see, Hikaru recognizes it. He wins the speed chess championship. Magnus gives a little bit of clap for Hikaru Nakamura. Yeah, you, the other day you sounded and told us that you were exhausted. Sounds like you might be rejuvenated. So do you feel like this fires you up for the upcoming World Rapid and Blitz? No, I mean, I, I, I think the thing is I'm playing Magnus. I mean, if, if you can't get excited by playing Magnus, then why are you even playing Chaz? I mean, he's the best player in the world. He's the world champion. It's, if you can't if you can't be excited, then, like, there's something wrong with you. So, uh, I mean, I, I think right now, at least, it's just adrenaline, just you know, kind of like the, you know, just... Having... Yeah, the third game was just a, um, uh, you know, that was a bit of a uh, meltdown. It was just, I was out playing him a little bit, uh, I got a better ending there with um, uh, a bishop against uh, bishop and knight against two knights, and I was sort of building in the center. And then he set up this fortress. I tried to um, tried to break it, and all of a sudden, like he was playing for a win, and uh, I was just bamboozled by 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 that, and I I, I lost some time in a position that was still tenable. So that was really. Um, 
that was really when it all sort of uh, started. And I mean, frankly, for the next, uh, for the rest of the five minutes, I've, I've portion, I felt that he played fantastic chess. Um, he was just way better than me in, in every in every aspect. And um, at that point, I was just looking forward to somewhat faster tournament where basically Black has to go for the perpetual, not to not to be worse. Um, and in that game, I actually went for for something else, um, which is really dubious if White knows what he's doing. Um, uh, that game was was drawn as well, but I figured he'd um, he'd learned the line, so I couldn't really do that. Uh, and um, I didn't like realize the implications immediately. I was thinking that um, he. Um, mm, Th that you know we were going to have a draw and then of course at some point yeah i realized that he's going to take the three minutes and um yeah i, I just gotta say um it's a props to him for for recognizing that and it's absolutely absolutely fair game he's always had talent uh i think the um the start of the pandemic the results he had there in the uh, in the in the Champions Chess Tour also helped his confidence quite a bit. Um, then I mean we played an epic sh match then as well. Um, seven seven matches that I finally won on Armageddon in the last game could have gone could have gone either way. Uh, now we've sort of played two of them and 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 we won one each. So I feel like that's probably probably fair enough. But uh, yeah, he's he's just uh, he's just a beast at this format. Like. I generally s still think that I'm a little bit better, uh, but um, I didn't prove it. Uh, didn't prove it today, and um, he's certainly as uh, as close as it uh, as uh, well. <laughs> I mean, basically anyone's ever ever been. So it's um, it's it's a great challenge. Um, and at any rate, I, I just figured with the lead, there was no reason not to do this again. If Magnus is I, I feel like you have to try and use every advantage you can have against Magnus, and he's being very, very solid. And if I'm not trying, if I'm not trying. If I start playing creatively, I mean, why do I want to take the risk? I'm up by two, three, four games at various times, and it's just a way to bleed the clock out. And um, I think strategically, it makes sense. Obviously, for the fans, I mean, it, it sucks because I mean, you just see like ten games in a row where, where where basically I just run out like three or four minutes, and we we end up drawing. But um, you know, it's it's what it is, and and then Magnus tried to get a little bit creative, and I was I mean I wasn't able to punish him, but it was still the onus was still on him because he was down after the five plus one. So um, I mean it was just it was wild, but I think I did just about everything 